different ideas and different ways of working on things and different processes, we kind of stay out of each other's hair. Yeah. We met in uh, high in school. high school, in <laughs> studio art class. Yep. Uh, I was a senior and you were a sophomore, and that's how we met, and we've been together ever since. So yeah. it's like almost 15 years. The encaustic studio is in a corner of our basement, and you know, I'd go down one evening and work for a little bit, and then I'd come up for the evening. Next evening he might go down and work, and it's just sort of the never the twain shall meet kind of thing and, and we don't sit there and critique each other about it we sort of give each other space and I think that's the only way that it kind of works for us yeah, I feel like you would call me down to look at what you were doing <laughs> and I didn't want to see it no. I refused yeah and then she would try and come down and watch me work and I'd be like Oh, Leave me alone. Yeah, no, <laughs> Get out I of can't. Here. And that's one thing. I'm I'm a little more vocal and a little more like, hey, I want to see what you're up to. Let's talk about it. No. No, I just rather be left alone. Yeah. I don't know if that's wrong. No, it's I'd just rather the way just, you are. Uh, I got started in photography. Um, I always kind of had a passion for photography, and I was interested by the camera. So at an early age, my dad had a camera and, you know, we'd go on vacation and he'd take photos. I always loved, you know, looking at the camera and, you know, it was amazing to me how you could just steal a moment in time, basically. A lot of them are themes. I think they're kind of close. Yeah. It's the industrial and organic themes. Uh, in school, I did a whole project for my portfolio, which was these sculptures with metal and just random metal things. And then I always threw some kind of fruit or vegetable into it. And that's kind of carried through my work. Uh, now, lately, I've been doing more just landscape photography. So my senior thesis show was um, these industrial landscapes. and. Um, looking at them from the perspective of an organic living thing. Um, looking at factory life as sort of a living, breathing, and now decaying thing. Um, but always had that little element of something biological or something organic in there. Wax is not only an industrial application, because you use paraffin wax and waxes in a lot of different industrial applications, but then Beeswax is, I mean, one of the most natural materials that you can ever get your hands on. Um, and so, and the look of wax and, and the way that you apply it and the way that you work with it and, and the way that it looks when it's on something, um, that is to me very, very organic. And so I, I meshed these two. The imagery, I had ink drawings of water towers and factories and all these sort of abandoned industrial spaces paired with um, found objects. Um, I think I had buffalo teeth. Yeah, you had all kinds of weird stuff. I had. We used to, and that, that was part of it. Josh and I have always liked um, exploring and hiking and going out and finding new places. And so, some of the found objects were things that I picked up along the railroad tracks and, and all kinds of different places. But, and, and I think that's maybe another sort of theme that we always go back to is a lot of different things come from the experiences of going out and doing these things. I, I want people to consider the small things, the environment around them, the natural spaces that are so often just forgotten overlooked. or overlooked. People take it for granted. You need to be kind to everything, be aware of everything. Your work. Oh dear. I don't, it always surprises me. You're always finding new techniques and new ways to do things. And you know, it's just anything that you do that's creative, it works out in the end and like, at work, you've been working on. I made a badger. She head. made a badger head, <laughs> and I just, you know, I came home from work and I saw this thing, <laughs> thing sitting on the table, and I was like, 
It was a styrofoam. Burr and you used scarlet styrofoam. runner beans for the eyes. I did. And, it was and I just <laughs> giggled and I was like, I'm so smitten <laughs> because it's just, it's like little, little stuff like that. It's just <laughs> the way you come up with these things. He will go and just do things without thinking about them. And to me, it's awe inspiring because I'm like, how did you know to do that? Like, you know, and he's like, I don't know. There's just a thing that we do. And he's, he's very humble about it, but he's, I mean, his technical ability and his ability to see detail is, I, I haven't met too many other people that are at that same level. I mean, he just, he sees stuff. No, you do. <laughs> you do. I mean, you, as far as like lighting and, and yeah. you're good. Well, oh, thanks. <laughs> you're good. What can I say? Yeah.